Pisces, hello, how are you doing? I hope all is well with you and your families. This is your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at you to give you your general love reading. I hope all is well with you, Pisces. It's been a little while, about a week. I love you guys, okay? I'm sending you big virtual hugs here, okay? Let's see what's going on in your love life, okay? So first off, this reading is not going to resonate with every single Pisces out there, okay? So let's respect other people's energies and respect that sometimes the reading is not for you because it's not all about you, okay? There are other people out here who are going through things too, okay? So don't leave a negative comment. Don't have an attitude because it doesn't see, you know what I mean? I'm, the reading isn't resonating. Why would you get mad over that? I've never left anybody a negative comment that a reading, you know what I mean? There's been plenty of Scorpio readings that didn't resonate with me and I go on about my day. That message is for somebody though. So let's not be bitter because we block our blessings when we're bitter. Okay. So if the video resonates, don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. If you feel comfortable, if not, at least like the video and subscribe, show your girl some love. I do have a now a new members, uh, membership option now on YouTube. If you guys look down below, you'll see, um, there, <coughs> Oh, excuse me. It says join now. So you will be able to join. I think it's like $7 or whatever. I'm just going to be posting random live videos, random reads for you guys um, when you um, actually become one of my members to my channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and join. All right. So Pisces, following this reading is going to be the extended where I'm going to pull your person's card, see how they're feeling about you and see what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you, Pisces. Okay. Now we'll just focus on your energy right now. So I have a general idea of what's going on. Okay. For personal readings, you can email me at Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. That is Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. Okay. I am asking for about a week to two weeks to get you the reading. Okay. But if you need it expedited within 24 hours, you can go ahead and uh, pay an expedited fee and I'll get you your reading. To you within 24 hours all right so that's miss hawaii readings at gmail.com all right y'all this is a positive only zone don't come on here talking no shit please let's be nice to one another okay please you don't want me to bring my scorpio stinger out please and i don't like bringing it out i like being nice mm -hmm. the hangman in reverse stagnation death in reverse Pisces, who you having trouble letting go of? <laughs> I didn't say, I didn't stutter. Who are you having trouble letting go of? The hangman in reverse. Willfulness, useless, sacrifice, rushing, thoughtlessness. Where's my other book? I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Me, love me all night long. The hangman in reverse. Stalling. Indecision. Delay. Resistance and fear. What's going on? Hello, I'm not talking to myself. I said, what's going on? I'm sitting on my hair and shit. What's going on, Pisces? I need to know. This hair is long and it be getting all in the way. <laughs> I got used to this shit. But anyway, stagnation, like I said. I feel like Pisces, some of y'all been overly given here in this connection. And what is this person giving back to you? Some of y'all just waiting around on somebody. Death in reverse. Something here that you don't want to let go of. And you just letting the time go by. The page of wands could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody younger than you, possibly, or a very young energy, Page of Wands. Okay. How else is Pisces feeling in love spirit? Thank you for a clear and guided reading for all my Pisceans. So that way we have discernment of the messages through the cards for them. Show me how my Pisces are feeling in love. The Chariot. Cancer energy, okay. Okay. With that Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Maybe some of you are having a... Maybe some of you are in separation right now currently with somebody. And I feel like with that chariot, you're determined to get through this. Chariot is about having the victory. Overcoming obstacles. Judgment card. 
some of y'all this has to do with somebody from your past star in reverse could be an aquarius somebody you're starting to give up a little bit of hope on pisces you're thinking about the past five of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius energy there that's you not wanting to fight you want peace you know what i'm saying the hangman here we go now it's here from two different decks with the moon in reverse some of y'all something was revealed here something came out with that moon in reverse and now you're hangman you're, you're waiting you're 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 stuck here trying to figure trying to see something here from a different perspective five of cups in reverse with the ten of pentacles all right some of y'all healing here from a separation some of y'all healing here because you really invested in somebody you thought it was going to be long term and i feel like the person's giving you short term you're getting over it but it hurt the empress in reverse male or female energy with the king of pentacles in reverse somebody got you feeling unloved here neglected somebody that you actually gave a lot toward some of y'all are mothers mother very motherly energy there I feel like y'all love this person in a motherly way justice with the libra and the lovers in reverse gemini energy some of you are dealing with a libra or a gemini wow okay so justice is here pisces you feel like you deserve fairness are you getting it here from this person that's my question to you because I see what you want, but I don't know if you're getting that with the five of wands in reverse. Some of y'all, this person causes a um, conflict in your life. Competition, some of y'all, you got to fight for their attention. You may be somebody else around them. It's really making you question your worth with that divine feminine in reverse, male or female energy. Some of y'all have, have a very loving energy to you, but I feel like people take advantage of that. Everybody doesn't deserve that. And I feel like a lot of y'all, you know, that Empress in Reverse is about overly giving, overextending yourself to the point that you neglect yourself because you care so much about somebody else. Show me the Page of Wands. This is that person. I see a lot of passion here between the two of you. Five of Wands, but you see, it's conflict here with this person. The Wheel of Fortune. You want change here, the sun. Yeah, y'all want something positive here with this person. I feel like this person is um, making you very two of pentacles, two of wands in reverse. It's like some of y'all are just playing it safe right now. You're not taking no moves, but I feel like some of y'all don't, you're, you're fearful when it comes to this person because you don't know what they want. Because the two of wands in reverse could be like, you know, fear, fear of the unknown. Um, you know, not, not taking any steps further. With the star card, that's y'all wishing and hoping for this person. You want it to work out. Aquarius energy here, but Pisces, I don't know. Wheel of Fortune is here too. You want change. My favorite card in the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you want positive change. I feel like you really have feelings for this person and... You know, you could see long term. Like you, when you started dealing with this person, you was thinking long term. You wasn't thinking no short term. But for some of y'all, I mean, if they come up as a page, I don't know if they're giving you that committed energy, the same energy that you're giving them back. Show me the chariot card. Because that's like kid energy. You know what I mean? That's like somebody who ain't nowhere near ready for no serious commitment. Not no page of wands. up there like that I don't know I'm anal about the card set up okay I hate when they're like crooked and stuff all right show me this chariot card please the tower the knight of swords in reverse Ooh, the strength card wow king of pentacles with the justice in reverse, more Libra energy. Pisces. This person, listen, there's something happened here. Tower moment. 
either you and this person separated or something was revealed to you. You had a revelation here because the tower is about a revelation. And I feel that it showed you maybe this person, Knight of Swords in reverse, either they're not putting in no type of action towards you or towards this connection, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, or I'm seeing a lot of like intense arguments around this person. This person could be the Knight of Swords in reverse, could be aggressive, kind of like a bully. Okay, and I see you using a strength card, Leo energy. This is you, um, you know, with the chariot. It's like double major arcana. It's like you want to do this. It's like you want to get through this. The King of Pentacles. This is you, I feel like. This is you um, coming in, bring, you know, presenting stability here to this connection, Pisces. Some of y'all actually were generous to this person because the King of Pentacles is generous, you know, giving gifts and you know what I mean? You know, and I see this person as a Knight of Swords in reverse, non committal, in and out of your life, argumentative from y'all. Show me the judgment card. Oh my God. The three of swords in reverse. You're healing. King of pentacles in reverse. You see what I'm saying? The page of, you might not be talking to this person right now. Yeah, king of cups in reverse. You're, you're heartbroken here, the hermit. This is you, Virgo energy. I feel like right now you might not even be talking to this person. You're healing from whatever they put you through. Whatever type of heartbreak they put you through with that three of swords in reverse. And I feel like you're being king of pentacles. I feel like you're being pretty stern about it. Because you know what you deserve. Justice is here. I mean, you know that you're a good catch. You know you're a good person. You know you've done right by this person, Pisces. So this person is just coming off as very immature. Page of pentacles in reverse. Non-committal towards you. Okay, Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Possibly somebody that's manipulated. They change feelings quick on you. You know what I mean? In and out of your life. And I feel like you're really getting more wise with the Hermit card. You're, you're really becoming more enlightened. Spirit is speaking to you here. I feel like you're in solitude right now. Really trying to gain, you know, hangman. You're on some mature shit. Because you're realizing hangman in reverse. That this goes back to your theme card. What are you getting back? For all this sacrifice you're doing for this person, what are they giving to you? You feel me? Show me the five of wands in reverse, please. Show me the five of wands in reverse. The lovers in reverse, the world, the five of wands and the eight of, you see what I'm saying? This person was, is a, was a lot of drama for you. I feel like it was a lot of internal, inner conflict for you. Constantly thinking about this. Some of y'all were just trying to understand, like, am I not good enough? Why, you know what I mean? Like, why didn't this person choose me? Why won't they commit to me for wants in reverse? Why won't they just give me that, that next level up? It's not you, Pisces. This person has a lot of growing up to do. It's not you. You did, spirit is recognizing you did everything. You stepped up on some grown woman, grown man shit. And you got good karma coming your way with the justice card. But this person was a lot of drama with you. Five of wands. Some of y'all, y'all feel like y'all had to compete here for their attention. Compete for their love. Maybe there's somebody else around them, other people around them. But whatever it is, some of you, they're dealing with a Gemini here is a lover's card here in reverse again. This is showing me that there's an incompatibility here. There's a disconnect here. You got the lovers here in reverse from two different tarot decks. Okay. With the world. That's about closing out a cycle. Completion. And the eight of swords. It's like you're free. You know what I mean? It's like freedom. Independence. You're not letting this person keep you feeling, you know what I mean? Bound anymore. Trapped by this. Let me see. Show me the hangman. Good for you, Pisces. Good for you. Show me the hangman. Oh, that fell right out. The high priestess. Oh, the chariot. Wow. See, again. This is you. I mean, you feel like no matter what, you're going to have the victory. I see you're very strong. Some of y'all are, like, moving a lot. Like, the chariot is about transportation. So maybe y'all are traveling or y'all are going to... um. Uh, maybe a new place, maybe a new home, new job. Maybe you're taking a vacation. Maybe you got a new car. 
the chariot is about movement and transportation. So I see y'all moving. I see, you know, um, but also it's about victory. I feel like, you know, some of y'all are very sad here with that 10 of cups in reverse and the sun on reverse because it's like this person was your happily ever after. But I feel like now you're realizing they're not. Yeah, y'all invested in this. You're, 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 it's hitting you in this hangman mode. How much you've actually invested in this person? Seven of Swords in reverse with the Four of Cups. Some of you are actually feeling rejected. And you're actually like, you're. it's, it's all becoming clear now with the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's like, it could have been self-deception to you. Like you could have, you know what I mean? I feel like some of you are feeling bad about this. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're caring. You're, you know, you're Pisces. So... You're very caring. I feel like a part of you does have a conscience about this and you feel bad with that seven of swords in reverse. But you have to realize two sevens here. Sevens are about faith. I feel like you're keeping the faith. But you got to realize here, you did what you were supposed to do, Pisces. You did everything you could here. I really feel like you are doing everything you can. There's no more that you can give to yourself, uh, of yourself to this person from what I'm seeing. So don't feel bad here. Some of y'all, there may be kids involved. Show me the five of cups in reverse. This is you healing old wounds. The six of wands, look at you. With the five of wands in reverse. You see, again, with the, it's like this person really attracted a lot of drama or conflict in your life. You know what I mean? So it was so confusing, but I feel like now, I mean, look at this orangutan. Some of y'all, this is an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. Look how he's tearing this room up. Tearing this room up. Like, and I see you being like cold towards this person. King of Pentacles in reverse. Not even like you're cold. It's just you have to heal right now. I feel like you're, and this person has the, the magician behind them in reverse. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe somebody that's being cold and, and stern towards you. But guess what? The Six of Wands is here. You have the victory. You win. Okay, and I feel like this person, some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that's famous in the public eye. If not famous, then it could be somebody that a lot of people are attracted to, a lot of people want with that five, that six of wands. But they also are manipulative with that magician in reverse and attract a lot of conflict for some of you, tension, drama. Okay, some of you guys, this person is having money problems too, king of pentacles in reverse. Show me the Empress in reverse, please. This is you feeling unloved, like you're not attracting love, overly extending yourself, feeling neglected. Show me the Empress in reverse, please. You got a lot of major arcana here too. I just realized that you got one, two, three, four, five, six, or this is a major thing in your life, Pisces, that's happening right now. Whenever we see that much major arcana, judgment here again in reverse, ace of wands, the king of cups, and the devil. You love this person. You do. You do. But you're realizing that this person is toxic. Some of y'all, there's a third party here. Three of cups is here. So some of y'all, they may have somebody else. But I feel like... And some of y'all, the sex is bomb with that ace of wands. I mean, the passion is there. It's just, and you absolutely love this person, but this person is toxic devil energy, Capricorn energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn, this person is toxic and you know it because of the way they made you feel what they put you through, judgment in reverse. Made you feel like, you know, you weren't worthy enough. Made you doubt yourself. You know what I mean? Show me the justice card here. Wow, Pisces. The two of cups in reverse. The justice card again. The seven of wands in reverse and the two of wands with the nine of wands. You've been through it, Pisces. You are the wounded warrior with this card here. Nine of wands. You've been through it. I feel like the devil, demons, they try to throw a lot of shit at you, but you held your ground with that card. Powerful card there. I feel like, I mean, the justice card is here twice. 
you are getting your good karma right now, Pisces. Spirit is in favor of you acknowledging you as a good person. Somebody here that deserves justice. Somebody here that deserves to be treated fairly, that deserves balance, reciprocated love, fairness. Justice clarified by the justice card. This is this person's karma. Whatever they're going through right now, we're going to pull their cards in the extended and see how they feel about you, what actions they're going to take moving forward towards you, and advice from the universe. But I feel like you gave up. And this is their karma, or you're giving up. Two of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Wands. Why should you keep fighting for this? You deserve justice, Pisces. And I feel like Two of Wands, you're, you're, you're looking into the future now. You're really taking baby steps here to, to move away from this person, this toxicity. Two of Cups in reverse is like you're starting to see the incompatibility. You're starting to see here... Well, gee, this isn't what love is. This isn't how I want to be treated. This isn't fair. You're starting to see. Seven of Wands in reverse. You're starting to, to, to say, you know, why do I keep fighting so hard for this when this person is not is being page of pentacles or just a page towards me? You need more of that. You're coming, you're, you're more than that. You're coming up as the empress, male or female. You're, you're big dogs. Your energy is powerful. High offense, you know I mean, you have powerful energy. You need somebody that's going to match your shit. I just said in the Aries video, just because we love somebody does not mean we're supposed to be with that person. People have to realize that. There are a lot of people that I love from my past, but I don't feel that they are for me. I will love them from afar, but that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be in a relationship with them. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like that may be the case for with this person. Maybe you do love them. Maybe there is passion. I even saw the three of cups. Maybe you guys have a great friendship. You know what I mean? But this person is not committing to you. Lovers is in reverse twice. So... There's something here why you guys are not coming together. And it's not you because you're coming up as doing what you're supposed to do. It's this person. So you have to really evaluate here and see what you really want, Pisces, and what you deserve, okay? Because Spirit says you deserve justice. Twice. From two different tarot decks, okay? 78 cards in each deck, and you got it twice. So that's for you. All right, so um, we're gonna go to into the extended now, okay? You guys can click the link in the description box below. I'm going to head, going to go ahead and pull your person's cards, see how they're feeling about you, see what actions they're gonna be taking moving forward towards you, and we're gonna get advice for you from the universe, okay? Thank you so much, Pisces, for watching. Don't forget personal readings. Email me at misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Hug somebody and tell me you love them. Because somebody need to hear that. I'm telling you. In this crazy ass world we in today. I'll see y'all on the motherfucking extended. Boop.